Hi there, this is Bettina from the thejsistersonline.com. I'm here today on a sunny day and we are out in visiting our mother in her little house, colony house in Denmark, just outside Copenhagen, I'm here with my sister and it's beautiful weather and we love it here. We're having a little bit of family time because it's Friday and this weekend is coming up. So I want to shoot you a video anyway and I want to ask you, can you be a spiritual person and have success in your business at the same time? This question came up yesterday when I was talking to two very good friends of mine who are both very spiritual. As a healer, I sometimes work with very high energies and have often come across, come across people who do not understand that working in the non-physical world and the material world can be combined. So are you one of these people that are very sensitive, sensitive to others' feelings? and emotions and want to help the whole world and have difficulties in manifesting anything on the physical plane or perhaps you're amazingly good at making money but you cannot get your head around intangible things and sometimes feels and and feel something is missing from your life we're often under the misinterpretation that when you're spiritual you cannot have success and have lots of money at the same time or you cannot be spiritual when you have the Midas touch and you can turn everything you touch into gold. So I have a few sentences and they might sound familiar to you. So have you heard people saying money is bad karma? Karma? What is that? I love money. Money is not for me. Money is the root of all evil, or money makes the world go around. So if you've heard that before, then I'm here to tell you that it has nothing whatsoever to do with spirituality or money, but a deep-rooted conditioning from our childhood, and often a very hidden belief that you're not worth it, that success is for others, success is for the fortunate, and so on. But if I tell you that you are worth it and you can do anything you want to and anything you wish for can be yours, would you believe me? Well, you better. Because the point of this is that my two friends I had this conversation with this morning, yesterday, it was not this morning, it was yesterday morning, they're very spiritual and they're very successful businesswomen at the same time. They combine these two qualities very elegantly and with great success. So what can you do to get there? You can go and listen to people like Bob Proctor, you can read books on law attraction, watch the secrets, open your mind, there's lots of things out there, Google it, and you can study some of the wealthiest people in the world and you will find that they have a fine balance between their business mind and their spiritual, spiritual mind. So what is the point as well here is you have to do whatever it takes to take charge of your own life, whether it's spiritual or non-spiritual. So um, my suggestion is to go take your business off to higher grounds and go crush it. So if you feel like you have had any value from this video, Please, if you like, share, comment it, you are welcome. And if you want to go to our blog post, it's on www.jsistersonline.com and we have lots of training tips and other things there that you can look around and feel free to uh, click on the link below and uh, see you on the next video. Bye.